So the video overview feature from Nobuel M is quite the same to audio overview. It can offer some realistic voice, but there is one major difference. In setup 2, there is only one narrator in the whole content. And that's actually a good thing because that means we could easily replace the narrator voice maybe with our own voice using the tools like 11 Labs. And there are some benefits to that. For example, you can replace the voice and then you can upload the video to maybe social media like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. And your audience could feel familiar because it was your own voice. And perhaps you can also use it to provide some presentation material in a classroom or maybe in an office. And again, since the voice was your own voice, people are going to feel familiar about the content. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can replace the voice from the video overview from 11 Labs with the help of 11 Labs. And it's very easy and the result is pretty good. So first you have to download the video into your own device. You can click this download button or you can go back to studio and then you can click this three dot icon on a video that you want to download and then click download. Now there is one caveat here because right now when I'm recording this tutorial, 11 Labs can only support up to five minutes of video. So you have to make sure that the video is no more than five minutes or you can split the video into multiple sections and that could be a decent workaround. And after that, you can navigate to 11labs.io and you can log in with your own account. And if you haven't created a clone of your own voice, you can navigate to voices and then go to create or clone a voice and click instant voice clone. Now here, you can either upload your own audio recording or maybe you can do recording right now in the browser. And it's really up to you, but basically you have to provide at least 10 seconds of clean audio file. And after that, you can click next and then you can provide some labels like the name, the language, accent, etc. It's really, really easy and straightforward. And after that, you can uh, generate the voice in the in a matter of a few seconds. And once you're done creating the clone of the voice, you can click this icon to close the window. And then we are ready to start creating or replacing the voice of the video. And by the way, let me just give you a quick preview of the video that I'm going to replace the voice with my own voice. All right, let's get right into it. We are literally surrounded by words like volts, amps, and watts. You see them on your phone charger, your TV, your light bulbs, but what do they actually mean? Well, today we're... Okay, that was the first 10 seconds of this video. I'm going to go back to 11 Labs. Now we get the voice changer. And basically, you can start uploading the video into this section. I'm going to just drag and drop the video. And just wait. Now, navigate to settings. You can select your own voice right here. So you have to uh, go to the label that says Instant Voice Clones. And then you can select your own voice. Now here, select the latest model that is available on your account. It could be version 3, 4, 5 in the future, but right now, when I'm recording this video, the most capable model is the 11 multilingual version 2. And after that, for settings, I usually go with the default settings, but for the style exaggeration, I prefer to use the number between 3 to 5%, but feel free to use any number that you like. Now, when you're done, you can click generate speech and just wait for this AI tool to start creating the new audio based on the settings, based on the voice, and also based on the video that you just provided. This process will take about two minutes and I'll skip over and show you the next step. All right, so the new audio has been created. I'm going to play the first 10 seconds of this new audio. All right, let's get right into it. We are literally surrounded by words like volts, amps, and watts. You see them on your phone charger, your TV, your light bulbs, but what do they actually mean? Well, Okay, as you can hear, it was actually very, very close, or I would say the same. It has the same tonality and expression as in the original video, but now it is not the same voice anymore, which is exactly something that I want to happen. Now, you can click this download button, and then you can download the mp3 file of that audio. And unfortunately, it is not actually giving you the video with the new audio. You can only get the new audio 
but you still have to stitch the new video sorry the new audio with the old video using a different tool like you can use maybe CapCut or Filmora to stitch the old video with the new audio and it is quite simple just uh, insert the two files and then you can mute the original video and then you can have the new video but sorry the old video but now with the new audio basic language of electricity and trust me by the end of this you're going to see the world around you in a totally new light so you're going to get something that look and sound like that and of course later you can export the video into a proper mp3 file sorry mp4 file now actually there is a feature in 11 Labs that lets you stitch the video and audio together but on my testing, it's just not working, or maybe there is a glitch in the tool. It is called VoiceOver Studio, and you can upload a video and then upload the audio again, and you can combine them together. But as I said before, it just doesn't work for some reason. I think there is a glitch in the system, and that is preventing me from uploading the audio. It doesn't matter the format, it's just not able to upload the video into the project. So that's a problem with this tool, but I'm hoping that in the future, this tool is working or at least when you're watching this video the tool is working so you can stitch the old video and the new audio together without relying on another third-party app so that's the step-by-step -step process to actually replace the audio from the video from notebook lm with the help of 11 labs ai thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video